Hey, what is up guys? Astronox here for a Tap Wizard RPG Arcane Quest uh, gameplay video. So, I actually cleared the Dark Tower uh, last night. It was very easy. Uh, I just had to... I don't even know if I had to kill... It must have been a boss. I mean, there's no way there was no boss. But at 20.5 inside the zone, uh, it could have been 22.5. But I think it was 20.5. Because in the... One of the gameplay video, maybe the, the last one before this one or two ago, um, I believe I, I reached zone 20, but uh, it just, I, it was like a wall. I, I couldn't progress further. But I mean, I could have death ray and then fought the boss and maybe like used a bunch of spells and uh, completed it, you know? So I would say if you can clear zone 45, you should maybe be able to uh, clear the dark tower or maybe 46. So right now, <coughs> I have the Templar. Templar, you get him after you kill uh, the boss in the Dark Tower. And <coughs> you unlock this. So I can meditate now. I've received this. An Arcane Essence. This allows me to uh, basically give, uh, unlock a... Uh, well, it allows me to meditate first, and then when I will meditate, it will give me this, the you know, the to unlock uh, either the healing or the ages. We'll uh, have to decide. I am most likely going with the ages, um, because this game is like uh, idle mage attack. Um, so I'm zone 40, 48. So this game is like uh, Idol Mage Attack, and uh, I mean it was just improved, and the name was changed. It's just the name before wasn't too good. Um, so here's the deal with healing. The the Templar will cast a healing spell, restoring five percent of the wizard's health per cast. This spell has a three second cooldown. So this is good. <coughs> and then the second one, we don't see it, but it's. Uh, it's something along the line, uh, line uh, along the lines of uh, the second spell cast 50% faster, and it will now target ranged uh, monsters. And this one, oh wait, this one is uh, the healing. Uh, the healing can now heal you to up to 200% of your max HP. And the fourth one is. The fourth one is you start dungeons with 120% of your HP. And, uh, no, sorry. The third one was healing. Ca you can have up to 200% of your uh, HP uh, with the healing. So when you're like speeding through zones at the start and you're just melting everything, you will actually uh, he have more health than uh, your maximum. You can reach 200% by the time you uh, get to the like harder part. You can also use like let's say uh, N uh, and vulnerability, and then you'll be at 200% health when that's done. Um, okay, the fourth one is uh, your spell. Your fourth spell casts 50% faster, and uh, it now targets range units. So this part is to make your spells. Slot 2 and 4, or it could be something different like 3 or 5, uh, target range units. Now, what I'm having issue in this game with is my spells not targeting melee units, the front line. Because I'm planning to use Inferno, and Inferno is of course a, uh, like a frontal uh, spell. It will uh, attack the first enemy I'm fighting. So if I can focus my spells into the front line on top with having Inferno as well, like if I can force uh, IC Prism to target the front line, that's just amazing. All right. So I'll, I'll be going with the, the, the other tower. I will be going with the tower right. First, the Aegis is pretty damn good. I mean, invulnerability for 10 seconds. Just think about it. When do you get the most power in your runs, right? You get it at the end, the last couple seconds. This is where you get more power. 
So by having 10 seconds of invulnera uh, vulnerability, it makes it so you can kill bosses, you can, uh, you can push just that small bit further, like 10 seconds is quite a bit of time, just gives you enough time to, um, to really get uh, that extra power. Now, there's a drawback, it's if you hit, like, you start fighting mobs that, let's say they don't do that much damage to you, and, like, you don't do too much damage to them, now the deal is they will eventually get you down, and then you get invulnerability for 10 seconds, and then feels like a bit of a waste of time if you don't play actively. So if you're just, like, uh, you have your lantern, you know, that just uh, uh, recall you, then it's an extra 10 seconds of time wasted, let's say. But many times you will be fighting monsters that deal just so much damage that you just, just a couple seconds more will mean that you will gain maybe, uh, you could get like 5 or 10% more of your total power, like, you know? Uh, also, it will be very helpful in dungeons. Uh, like, good everywhere. Okay, so uh, this is, it's like uh, slot 2 or 3, now targets uh, close units and your spell deal 50% more damage. Now this is when Aegis pops for 10 seconds. Uh, well, yeah, wh as soon as Aegis starts, you will cast like 16 random spells. Er like it's something like you cast four spells every 2.5 seconds and uh, so after 10 seconds, you'd have cast 16 random spells. So that's some extra damage to push that bit further. It's just going to help you, especially if your TM lag is uh, s along the line of 10 or even lower than 10. Your, sp your spell power will, will be stronger and you will uh, hit for much. Uh, you will have harder hits, meaning that you'll be able to p push that much further and uh, that will help you with your power growth. Now, this one is like your, four, your fifth slot deals 50% more damage and it also targets uh, close units. So, just like having two spells that target close units, having Inferno that always targets close units just will, will just work out pretty damn well. Then you can have two other spells that whatever, like let's say I'm using uh, Shocknet, that's the whole screen, we don't care. And Blizzard, well, it starts from you and then goes toward the monsters and it's all, it's all random anyway. So uh, that hits melee as well. But uh, like I'm going to change all this. All right, so let's get to the good part here. The Like right now, I'm just wasting my time, you know. Since last night, I could have just meditated, but I wanted to make a video and I couldn't last night. So here it is, guys. Um, first of all, let's just go and read this. Meditating will take a substantial toll on you. It will drain all of your power and gold. Reset your enchantments and nullify most research projects you have completed. You will retain all spell stones, spell ranks, spell experience, any runes you have, and the ban of perpetuation and existential enlightenment research projects. You cannot find another dark portal key until meditating. All right, so this means that, yes, your power in gold is gone. This is a major hit, of course, and the reset of enchantment is really a massive hit because enchantment is such a pain. Uh, now, all your research, I, I've like I researched so many things. Um, okay, now the good part is you keep all your spell stones, all that XP you worked on, all the the spell rank. That that's why spell XP is super important on your uh, to to like the passives. You need to like get that up ASAP. Uh, so to give you guys an idea, you need to meditate four times. After you meditate four times, you can uh, you can craft the Omega Lumen, and then you f you 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 finally you have to complete Zone 100 to kill the final boss of the game. And at that point, you can do a new game plus, and that's basically you could say, you could tell your friend whatever, you could say that I've completed the game. So you need to craft that Omega Lumen, complete Zone 100, kill the boss, and that's it. You make a new game plus. And when you make a new game plus, you are um, you're basically starting from scratch. 
spell spell XP all your spell and their, their XP will you will retain those because what I'm uh, what I read is that uh, spell XP and the, their passive stacking the passive on spells is gonna be a major source of damage increase your, your biggest source of damage increase like so you'll have like either the tower left or tower right all the abilities the four uh, abilities will be unlocked on your Templar uh, when you're at that fourth meditation so you will be like very strong and uh, yeah I mean uh, that's how it's gonna go down so the point is to just rush up to that meditation as fast as possible and uh, do it four times uh, the Templar actually attacks uh, he's doing a fourth of my spell damage in uh, he's doing some kind of auto attack uh, he, he could be targeting multiple monsters I'm not too sure another thing I unlock this uh, with uh, my daily critical raid so launches a large uh, seating orb which targets a random enemy upon striking up to four bolts of lightning arcs between the target and four other random enemies if possible uh, the good cool like it's a good cooldown now uh, augmentation we'll see what happens here but uh, lightning arc plus one is uh, looks pretty good because uh, <clears throat> it arcs four random enemies so it's gonna arc five so four bolts, five enemy, that's 20 hits. Well, if there is enough enemies. <clears throat> All right, um, <clears throat> is there anything else I need to <clears throat> talk about here before I actually meditate? Here are all my runes, stable runes. You keep all those when you meditate, fortunately, because I've not used uh, much. Okay, so but in new game plus you probably lose all your runes I, i'm actually maybe not maybe not uh anything else now i don't know my dungeon key what's gonna happen with that we'll see i'm probably gonna lose them but whatever uh <coughs> if i do this raid <coughs> let's just do the raid and see if the the cooldown resets hopefully it's not hard uh uh, we'll see. Uh, now I'm leveling. I just want to unlock more of the augmentation. Maybe there's some spell XP. This, I got the spell XP on it. I'm just trying to uh, mark it up to get the spell XP. Now here, I mark. I reach mark 2, so I got the 10% spell experience. Uh, actually, wait. I think I... Did not get it. It it says that it was saying that when you mark up, you unlock the, you have the augmentation unlocked. But what about the passive? There's no way you get the passive as well. Wait, I need to just read up on this. I really want to meditate and just get to it. Uh, so wait a second. Yes. Yes, yes, okay, the spells. Mark, okay, after reaching rank 5 and getting enough experience, a spell will be eligible for a markup. After marking up, a spell loses some of its augmentation but retains its passive. Each mark decreases the rank needed to activate an augment. Yeah, to activate an augment. For example, mark 2.0 will have the rank 1 augment. Mark, yes, the augment, yes. Each markup will increase the damage. Of, yes, I know. In addition, the passive bonuses will continue to increase upon subsequent ranks up. Okay, I, I still have to... I don't have it unlocked, actually. Uh, so, 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 so. Okay, this can wait. This can wait, so... This is priority. Let's just have it like this. Yeah, that's good. Alright guys, this is it. Oh, last thing, yes. Okay, you see band of perpetuation. Now I could f I could uh I cannot fund it, but I could 
speed up its time. Six days is crazy though. I, I cannot even speed it up, look. I can do two days and six hours. This doesn't work. <clears throat> two days and six hours. So yeah, let's forget about that. And I would have to keep grinding and get that gold to be able to... Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna do that. If I left the game, left the game running overnight, I could have done it though. Now I hope I don't lose these. Uh, now there was another buff. Let's see. Now this cost too much. Cannot fund any to see what's the next one. All right, I won't bother here. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that meditation, guys. Just save. You see missing string in cloud. There's something off with the text here. It's just it's the, the saves is actually working. Oh, oh well, my guy would have picked it up. Picked it up anyways. Uh, there's nothing. Nothing else really I can do before this. All right, let's go. Ah, the pain. Oh no. All my research and enchantments. That's a massive meditation right there. All right. Ages, let's go. Okay, you see now. The Templar creates an aura that enhances the third spell in the wizard loadout. The aura increases the spell C CS by 50% for 29 seconds and causes the spell to target close enemy if possible. The aura has 30 second cooldown. Okay, so th there's one second downtime there. Just enough for him to cast it, I guess. Spell CS, cast speed. Okay, so it's, it's cast speed increase. All right, guys. I'm so weak. So weak. All right, I just arcane fragment. Put this here. All right, and it begins. You know, let's forget the health for now. Let's go straight up for cast speed. And this, but you know what? I have to do it anyways. I have the gold, so might as well. Crum okay, I kept my dungeon keys. Now I wonder, what if I go in a dungeon? Is it gonna be the the, the monsters will have? Like, how strong are they gonna be? Now let's see the raid, the cooldown. Okay. So the the timer did not reset. Now I'm wondering here, are the monsters going to be super hard? And if they are super hard, will they give crazy amount of power? Or dungeon is based on uh, your current zone progress? Because if it is, well... This one seems cheap. Uh, this, did I keep those? Yes, good. Did not lose. Okay, so I, I believe I just unlocked this temple floor two here that's really cool 25 percent increased damage that's cool too gold drops yeah i like this 
Okay, so let's just go do the crumbling, crumb, crumbling key because I might just keep getting a bunch of those. Yeah, let's just do it now before it gets too hard. But I don't know, maybe it's ultra hard. Nope, it's based on your current zone. Good. Wait, oh, this is the layout, so like this. What are the buffs? Power on 3 4. Cold up. Three has major, has a major boost in damage. For cold. Um. Second loadout. Three is disabled. Three is disabled. Templar is doing a melee attack, just slashing. Two slot two and four have lightning spell damage up. Hmm. Spell number three is just insane boost here. Let's just me let me put Blizzard there because like Blizzard doesn't do much damage, but there's so so many boosts. Four five cooldown is seems to be slowed. Fire cooldown is slowed as well. Wow, that is terrible. This is really hard here. I'm ultra slow. Actually, I am ultra slow because I restarted the game and I don't have all my spell damage. My cast speed, I mean. I'm extremely slow. So let's roll with a setup that can, you know, focus damage more, maybe. Let's wait for. Oh, layout 2. Uh, this this thing is disabled. Wait, what? All right, let's just do this. I mean, I guess we kept the things that really take a long time to grind. That. That spell XP though is just it's extremely long. It's it's really it's really based on time. It's based on, on time. You cannot like just get your spells to rank up super quickly. I mean you can just unlock more passive with spell XP boost, but the long term goal here is just to boost your spells as much as possible. So work on those uh spell XP increase. Passives, guys. Mm. Uh, 
gold wise here. Cannot fund. You know, I might. The second level on this place is just terrible. So I can't even have a lightning elemental up because the cooldown is terrible. I could just summon a couple elemental and then have a summon duration increase. I've used so many of those that I'm low. Uh, I mean, I'm pushing through it. I should definitely replace the fire spell right here for, let's say this. Wait, why? Oh, I have it already. Let's just put this. <coughs> oh, we actually have this here. That's pretty nice. Actually, when... Yeah, I mean, fire's on cooldown. But Inferno is really nice here. Oh, three was... Is it? Yes. Just fund it. <coughs> we'll earn the gold quickly. It's fine. Two and four have lightning increase. Oh, I already have two. So weak. I'm on invulnerable. That ages. We'll get there. Thing is, the dungeon has a Actually, if I was progressing in the zones, my growth would not really be much faster than this, really. Could just be slower. Let's see how much I actually gain here. So that's, that's over 10% already. We're not done yet. I really like the way the way this spell actually works, Voltaic Orb. It summons itself, but it back backs backtracks to complete its uh, attacks because it says attacks random enemies stri upon striking. Four balls of lightning arc between targets and for four. it's like it doesn't just move forward and disappear. Mm. 
Or it does? What just happened there? Voltaic orb just attacks extremely quickly. Don't really have time to see what's going on. But you see, it's like two of them dissipated, but one of them just kept on going. Maybe it didn't complete its uh, attacks. Now this one dissipated because, well, they all they're all overlapping on top of each other, all three or all four. Yeah, four bolts, uh, strikes, four random enemies. Just gonna keep on leveling that voltaic orb. I see a uh, prism is so slow though. Seems like I need uh, spells that hit multiple targets. And blizzard. Oh, I'm one. And vulnerable. We need to tweak the spells here. One and five have power. And lightning has power. said I was going to use Blizzard I believe here <coughs> shock net shock net needs to be in one it's slow but it's gonna deal ton of damage when it actually fires off fire is up but definitely need to go with massive amount of lightning attacks here just pure lightning <coughs> That's, that's what's up. All right, let's see where we can push now. Precursor, you know, I, I don't know what that is. Oh, great. It's just, it's just fantastic. I used it and I don't know what it does. Uh, go in the bag. 
missing string, ice XP. So the precursor was a buff, a two hour buff, a random two hour buff. I just triggered it, gives more ice spell XP. Okay, um, so yes, the spell XP, I need it here. No, I really want to level this thing. Let's take off. Mm. I'm just tickling them. That is 30% growth, <coughs> but why so slow? Okay, Blizzard is really bad. I'm just gonna drop the Lightning Elemental whenever. Man, that I need to build up that rank 1, it's gonna take a while. Targets don't have that much. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I need to uh, put this instead. Let's see the, the power growth here. If I kill a monster, I will be dying shortly. Templar stops attacking whenever I die. Seven minutes. I will mean I will not be funding this. Uh, all right, guys. I'll just stop this episode uh, here. Uh, I'll just progress more in the next episode. Uh, do a crumbling key or maybe a dungeon. Uh, beside this, we will have the raid as well. And uh, I might start uh, using some uh, power harvesting. We'll see. Now enchantment, I can do one already. What's the time on this? 36 minutes. This is... Hmm. How long will it take to reach the next one? We'll start... One. I'm almost there, I mean... I'm getting so much power. I just need to have uh, five time more power than I currently have, and it won't take that much time, actually. All right, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, just hit that like button. Leave me a comment uh, where you're at in the game if you want any tips. Uh, and, uh, yeah, subscribe for more. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Astronox, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.